dark open spaces, lavasses, and piglins. Piglins everywhere. That's the nether, the perfect place for the adventure. So it's time to visit this other world. Just build the portal, take some gold, and it's time to go. Today I will take you to the Warped Forest. Time for my first visit to the Nether. I've built a few Minecraft mocks, but never this other world. And there are many interesting biomes and structures here that deserve attention. The biggest problem in building are the parts. Dark red is the main color and is needed in huge amounts. This is the main reason why I'm waiting so long to build this mock. I have many ideas for nether mocks, and today you will see the first. I think my warped forest will be the first stage of bigger project. I want to combine several nether mocks into one big diorama. I've planned two projects for the beginning. We'll see if I can build more of them. Of course I'm also planning other biomes. I recently showed my lush cave. If you haven't seen it yet, you should definitely check it out. I plan to build the upper part, with the surface and the village. Finally, I have a chance to open the set I bought over a year ago. The nether bastion has been waiting for a long time, but it will finally come in handy. I think it's a very good set. We have a great features here, especially piglins and nether adventurer which will definitely appear in my project. As in all Minecraft sets, there are a lot of useful parts here. And maybe building the nether bastion mock is a good idea, who knows? Building the nether is not an easy thing. You need to have a lot of dark red and dark turquoise parts. And it just so happens that I have a lot of them. I planned to build the nether a long time ago. I ordered a lot of parts. And I recently bought to buy 4 bricks in a very large quantity, so it's time to use them. That's a lot of bricks, right? I hope I won't run out of anything. There will be a lot of new blocks in this project that I haven't used yet. See the 8 most important. Nether rack, Warped Nilium Warped Ward Block Nether Quartz Ore Nether Gold Ore Magma block, glowstone, and shroom light. As always, I made in game project. This is the first project from the nether. I will add the next one on the right side. As you can see, there are three warped fungus trees. There are a lot of plants, and even more lava. In the next mock on the right side, I want to add some portal. And later we'll see. Maybe Basal Delta? I'm starting the construction from the base plate. This time it will be 40 by 30 stats. That's 20 by 15 Minecraft blocks. That's quite a lot, but I need a lot of space. Because I'm going to build a lot of lava here. But not only that, as you will see in a moment. In the next stage I will make a solid base, so I will add a lot of bricks here. But not only that. This is also the stage where I start playing to add lights, which I will talk about in a moment. At the back I already added a place for the batter box. There will be an opening panel here, so that I have easy access to the switch at any time. This is the same technique as in my previous mocks. In my new nether mock I will use these lights. The same as in my previous projects, but this time there are 50 LEDs. That's a lot. Maybe even too much. But the smaller amount available is 20. And that's definitely not enough. The second layer has appeared. And you can already see that there will be a lot of lava here. I left some space in the front, because there will be two rows of lights. I want the lava texture to be visible in the front. The battery box is already in place, and the lights are ready to be installed. This will be a very time consuming process. I need one more thing for the construction. Rand plates in trans orange. It's a good thing that I've been buying them from some time. 
and I have a lot of them. I think there are 1000 of them here, or more. I don't know how it happened, but I built two small base plates. There should be 15 micro blocks, and I made 14. I added one row and now everything is fine, so I can continue building. Now a little tip. To make it easier to place the lights, I marked their places with front plates. This will help a lot in building lava. After all, there will be 50 LEDs. First layer of round plates light. The LEDs are already in place. My fingers hurt, but it was worth it. See how the lava looks when it's turned on. Looks great, and that's just the beginning. Now it's time for the second layer and plates. And the last stage, the third layer. It's pure pleasure. So let's get to work. And after a while, the lava is ready. At the end of this video, you'll see how it looks like in the dark. Now I am moving on to the next stage of construction. Time for the terrain. I added the first bricks. And it's time for the first tiles. One of my favorite stages. It's a good thing I bought a lot of them a long time ago. I definitely don't have to worry about rank out of them. In addition to tiles, I am also adding jumpers which will be useful for details. Many bricks later you can see that the terrain will be divided into left and right side. A few details also appeared such as magma blocks and quartz ore. The terrain is growing, so I can add more tiles. Later I will change some of them to plants, which I will tell you about in a moment. I changed one thing that was bothering me. The front lava texture. Now I made it two plates high. Thanks to this the texture fits perfectly with tiles on the top. I like it a lot. I've prepared several types of plants that will appear in my mock. First, twisting vines. Next, warped sprouts. And finally, warped roots. My next favorite stage of construction is adding one by one Minecraft blocks. A very simple technique that allows you to get a cool effect. As you can see the terrain on the right goes up a lot. And that's not the end. There will be a lot of details here, but I leave that for the end. A few more layers and it's getting more and more interesting. The nether have totally unusual terrain, so I can afford a lot of weirdness. I added another important detail, which is glowstone. What's important, it actually glows. Because I added glow round tiles one by one. I still have a few last layers left, so let's get to work. And finally, after many hours I finished building the terrain. Let's see what it looks like. I added many plants and places for more. There are a lot of mushrooms all over the terrain, which are very common in warped forest. I also made a few places for trees. More on that in a moment. I think this is one of the weirder terrains I've ever built. But I like it a lot. And finally, it's time for fungus trees. I made three. What's important, I managed to do a very cool thing here. I added tiles from the bottom. Now I'll show you the construction of this tree. The most important thing here are the new 1x1 one one plate with side stat. I bought a lot of them. This is one of my favorite parts. I use them a lot and it was also very useful here. You already know what my fungus trees looks like, so it's time to add them to my mock. Before I add the mobs, there is one last thing. Well, maybe two. But first I will tell you about this one. I have the last plant left, Twisted Vines. There will be a lot of them here. I already have the places marked out. So it's time for this great detail. I did one more thing that deserves attention. The Nether Portal. I want to show you how I made a great texture in a simple way. I put trans clear quarter tiles inside the bricks, and that's it. 
I think it looks really cool. Everything is ready, so it's time for mobs. <laughs> I promised you another shot of the wall mock in the dark, and it looks like this. I think the effect is great, I like it a lot. I can't wait to add here second mock from the nether. After a few weeks of building my first nether mock is ready. And how do you like it? It was something completely different and I like it a lot. It's a good thing I had a lot of parts, although I had to make a few additional orders. This is the first part of my nether project. The next one will be on the right side but I don't know which one yet. I used a lot of dark red parts, and I don't have many left. For now I am going back to my previous project, Lush Cave. Time to build another element. It will be the Plains Village. So I am going back to building Minecraft. Let me know in the comments how to like my Warpath Forest. And remember about thumbs up. Thanks! That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching and see you next time, bye!